find everyone here. Okay, hello. Vicky, how are you doing? Welcome. Susan, Petra, hello. Angelica Turner here with Elizabeth Craft Designs. Welcome. Femke. Okay, hi. How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone's doing good. Everybody's having a good week so far. Can everybody hear me okay? Is the sound okay? Hi, Anita. Angelique, hello. Sounds good? Okay, great. Uh, Mary, hi. Just waiting for a little bit for more people to join. Hi, Sylvia. Thank you. Sound is good. That's good. Okay, I'm trying to see where it's the easiest way to follow the uh, all the comments on the computer or on my tablet. Let's see here. Uh, where's my comments? Okay, so let's see. Hi. Hi, Sandra. Sharon. Hello, Kathy. Hi, Annette. Sylvia. Royal. Royalies? Oh, I think I just butchered your name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Candace, hi. Hope everybody's doing good. Hope everyone is safe. Everybody out of um, Florida. That horrendous hurricane is just, I can't even imagine. Uh, so hope everyone is safe and staying out of its way. Uh, well, hello, welcome. Uh, we, I am here today to introduce my Autumn Harvest Collection, my newest release. And uh, you might have already seen the introduction video that I did for all the uh, shops. Uh, so I'm going to go through the uh, sets and the samples I did for the packaging. Then I have a ton of samples from my very talented design team. They did an amazing job with the samples. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show them all, uh, but I think between what I'm showing today and what I showed at the video, I think I'm going to get everybody's uh, samples featured. So... Let me switch over my screen real quick for to my table. Here we go. Hey, Teresa. Karen, hello, Rebecca. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so we this particular collection, I have a one stamp set, one uh, stamp and die combo set, seven die sets, and one paper pack. Uh, again, it's all uh, kind of themed around autumn, fall, uh, colors, and illustrations. So here is the first set. This is set um, CS379, Autumn Greetings. We got several greetings here, autumn 
Hello Autumn, Happy Fall, and we also have some um, greetings in, uh, that are more every day, like thank you, smile, grateful, especially for you, celebrate, hello. Um, so those are more like an everyday, um, everyday item or sentiments that you can use on all your projects. Uh, so this is the first temp set. Uh, this one is CSD378. And it's the Autumn Harvest Florals Stamp and Die Set. So as you can see, I have uh, images uh, of uh, different florals, the pumpkins, the different little leaf branches. And each of these images has a coordinating die. So you can stamp it, die cut it. You don't have to do fussy cutting with it. Um, I know a lot of people, I personally, I also do enjoy fussy cutting, but sometimes, you know, we don't have uh, a lot of time <laughs> to do all that fussy cutting. So that die comes in very handy for that. So as you can see, again, each stamp has its coordinating die for die cutting. So that's the combo set. Okay. Next set is the 2181 uh, 2181 Florals 31. Uh, we have all our floral different sizes, our centers, three sizes of the leaves, and this one right here is our calyx. And what that is, so here's the sample I created for the packaging. You can see all the diff the shaping and the uh, the diff the amount of uh, dimension you can add with just a little bit of shaping on that paper. And this is the same flower, shaped a little bit different. And this is that die, the calyx right here, this one on the back. This one, I just did a little flower stem in with a wire run through the center. And then that holds together my whole flower. So if you want to make a little bouquet, these are uh, this works really well. So that is flor Florals 31. Move this out of the way and this one as well. Put it over here. Uh, then we have 2182 Florals 32. Again, we have our different flower set, flower sizes. We have the three sizes for the leaves and we have the three sizes for the calyx. Um, these are the images on the packaging. Again, different little shaping. This one was shaped a little bit different in the center, the leaves and all that dimension. And then here's the same flower. And then there's the, the little calyx on the back to give it the finishing touch. This one's colored a little bit different, a little bit more orange on it, but that is Florals 32. Let me get these out of the way here. Then we got 2183 Autumn Foliage. So we got five different little leaf branches that you can either cut apart uh, and use to for your floral arrangements. These are always very popular. And here's the full size images colored. Then we have 2184 Autumn Pumpkins. This one was very fun to design and it is so fun to work with. Uh, so we got three different pumpkins and the solid with the detailed cuts for the shape of the pumpkin. Then we have three uh, overlays uh, with all the little swirly design on it, as well as we have two leaves and then the little, the three tops for the, the little three pieces for the pumpkins. So this is the actual pumpkin. So you have your solids that you can use by themselves. You can also 
uh, do the overlay on top of this. You can use the overlay by themselves. And then, of course, you have the leaves. So you have a lot of options to play with this set. Uh, next one is 2185 Autumn Fancy Frame. Uh, let me see. I kind of lost your uh, comments here. And where did my cursor go? There we go. Sorry about that. I'm just trying to catch up. Okay, there we go. For some reason, I was not seeing uh, your comments. Okay, so 2185 Autumn Fancy Frame. It is a three-piece frame. So we have our... Unglue this one. So we have our outer piece, center, or uh, center uh, deck up edge, and our center decorative piece. And let me show you. So this is the finished sample. And I'm going to show you your kind of a little uh, samples I did with the sets. So this right here is just using this piece, the outer decorative border. This is what you get. Okay. This one right here, which gives you the, uh, has the decorative, the border in the center is by using these two pieces together. You get this right here. This one right here, which is for works great for smaller cars like an A2, is you get by using these two pieces, the outer and then the center decorative panel. You get this one. This one right here, you get by using this one and this one together. So if you put these two together, you get just the outer frame. And then you can put like a picture in there. I mean, you can do so many things. So you have that option as well. And then if you want, just cut this solid piece, then you can just use this one and you end up with this. Just a solid piece of cardstock for the center. So that is our decorative frame. Okay, and that is the 2185 Autumn Fancy Frame. So get those out of the way. The next one is 2186 Autumn Fancy Borders. So we got two different sizes, and each set it consists of three different dies. So here is the sample for those. And I did do a couple of samples. So for this one, if you were to just use the, these ones are usually glued down very well. If you were just to use this piece, you get this, the decorative border, just like that. Okay. Uh, same thing for the thinner one. If you use this center piece right here, you get this. If you use these two pieces together, you place them together on your paper, you get this. So this will be your uh, background or your solid background for your decorative photo right there, like that. Okay. But if you only use one piece, for example, this one, then you get, you can do something like this, like a border, a decorative border on your card. This is a five by seven panel. So I just did that. And then you can just place this on the edge and you have a decorative edge on that, on that card. And then of course you can decorate the rest with pattern paper, florals, or whatever your choice. So you can do that. That's the different options that you have with this, with these borders and these three pieces or the outer piece having the die split like that. You have the option of creating those edges on your card. And then the last one here is 2187 Autumn Fancy Corners. 
this one it consists of two corners and one kind of a border so here is the samples the two corners the border the border works the same way as the this particular one works the same way as the borders you have your decorative piece and then you have your base or your solid background in two pieces so you can either create an edge on a larger panel or you can just do the solid like here for your decorative piece so those are all the sets let me get some of this stuff out of the way so i can bring in the samples what's everyone doing keep for some reason this keeps acting up and i keep missing missing your uh, comments Thank you. Hi, Laura. Yes, <laughs> yes, okay. Yeah, they do have like kind of a shape that uh, mimics a little bit of a uh, pumpkin there. So, okay, here's one sample I did. Um, I used the border right here and I cut just the outside border. Then I cut the center piece out of pattern paper separately with a center uh, section. I got the pumpkins here layered um, on top of each other, dark cardstock with a shimmer uh, copper color on top, the florals, leaves, and then I added a couple of the little dice um, to create the little postage stamps from, uh, from one of Esther's collections. Um, here's another one where I used the decorative corners the stamped image and die cut and then uh, colored uh, with some uh, co color pencil and watercolors as well and then one of the sentiments right there and then of course the paper in the background and you know what i didn't show you the paper before the sample so let me show you the let me go over the paper real quick so here is the paper uh as you can see, you have all the uh, beautiful oranges and kind of uh, uh, olive greens in here. So, of course, our back right here. Then here is the first sheet. We got pumpkins. We got the little birds, all the florals, all the um, orange and yellow and brown uh, fall leaves and florals. And then... Uh, beautiful kind of a brownish orangey color with a lot of a uh, little bit of script in there a lot of layering of different designs just to give it a more elegant kind of distressed edge this green one with the border is one probably one of my favorites love all the colors and these florals and then we got more of a solid color on the back Another one with the corners with another little birdie over here and the pumpkins and the florals. And then a green to coordinate that. Thank you, Robin. It is, I love working with um, fall colors. It just, it's one of my favorite palettes probably. Another uh, floral borders here that can easily be trimmed into six by six panels for card making, scrapbooks, and then we got a um, green pattern over here as well. A smaller all over panel it has all the different little elements there from the other sheets. It's got the little birds right there, the pumpkins the different pumpkins with the different florals so it makes a nice pattern all over panel pattern and then we got an orange color here we have our plaid here perfect for all those masculine cards or projects and a bright orange and then it uh, looks like this is yeah this is the page and as you you sh you all know, our paper always we uh, switch all our backgrounds. So this is the same page here. 
but on the back one has orange one has green so all of them uh, we do have two of each but uh, the second set uh, all coordinates all has different uh, Uh, let's see. Can you guys see me? I'm getting an error over here. Okay. Can you guys see me or hear me? For some reason, I'm getting uh, some kind of error that it didn't, uh, that it stopped going live. Okay, am I am I back? Looks like I'm back. You're back. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I got a little blank screen here that said that it wasn't it wasn't uh, showing. <laughs> okay. Okay, so here's another sample I made. I have the little um, edges here. Let me grab my dice so I can refer reference to them. Oops, if I need to. Sorry, there's just so many little pieces here. And they're mixed now with the samples. Okay, I think I got them all. Okay. So for this one, I went ahead and used this piece right here, but just a decorative piece layered together with white and gold. And then on top of it, I placed all the different florals. So I did use both florals and then filled it in with different little leaves and smaller flowers from a previous release. And then, of course, the uh, pattern paper in the back. I did add extra splatters with some paint to give it that more distressed look. Couple of little tags I did. This one's I wanted to showcase the fact that you don't have to shape or do all that shaping on your flowers. You can do them, just cut them out of cardstock. Uh, I didn't even do coloring on this one, so I just cut them out of cardstock and layered them with a couple of foam dots. So you have that dimension right there. And that is a lot of fun to do too. If you like, don't have a lot of time to put all the coloring and, uh, and, lay, and uh, shaping into it, you can easily just take the dice, die cut them out of cardstock and layer them and create cute little projects. This is one I did the other day. I took the pumpkins, uh, just the solids, and I drew a couple of jack-o'-lantern faces on them with a pencil, cut them with a craft knife, and then I took a uh, layer, cut the pumpkin again out of black, layered it in the back, and made a couple of uh, cute little jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, I have all kinds of products miss, uh, mixing here. I have dyes from Esther. The papers are from two different collections from Esther. I have dyes from David. Um, and then uh, I think this little branch is from one of my collections from uh, last year, uh, one of my Christmas uh, releases from last year. So got a lot of mixing and matching there and they just all of it goes so well together this was a lot of fun to put together a couple of uh, i have a trio here of uh, atcs that i created the pumpkins i just uh, cut them out of the soft finish cardstock colored them and then i took the stamp and stamped uh, and hidden embossed in the background on each one of them with a different image. So that was a lot of fun. And then I've also hidden embossed the, the, the different sentiments on each ATC. So that was a fun project. Little 
uh, flower cluster I did. Um, this one, I think I'll probably put it on a tag later on, but this one I did it during my other, my introduction video. So a couple of different florals and then the background right here, I used the center of the decorative frame. So I used this one to cut the, the brown and then this one in the center frame and this one to cut the decorative piece on top of it from pattern paper. So that was also a fun project to create. Okay, so let's see. Here's one of our design themes. I think this is Rashni's. This is gorgeous. Look at all that dimension. Stamped in, uh, die cut the images, color them. Her coloring is always so perfect. And then here's the sentiment, the decorative frame. It's been layered like two or three times there. And then of course the paper with a touch of gold to make everything pop. Uh, this one, love the colors, the bright colors here. This one is from Diane. Love it, love it. Her coloring, look at the coloring on those leaves. So beautiful. It just makes those flowers pop so well. Uh, and again, you have your pa pattern paper back here and all those little leaves and little elements tucked in to give a final touch to that uh, floral arrangement. Uh, this one is from Susan, I believe. Yes, Susan. Love the kind of vintage style. And she fussy cut the little bird out of the pattern paper. Um, so the celebrate stamp right here in this little banner. And then you can see here the decorative border on the back. So these borders are uh, seven inches long. So they fit your five by seven cards. Gorgeous. Have another one here. This one is from Jill. This love the pink pop of color uh, that these flowers have on top of the uh, pattern paper. She stamped especially for you and then have a lovely day sentiments right there. And then she stamped the little leaves from the stamp set just to give it a little bit more uh, detail to the paper. Just gorgeous. Then I have this one here is from Anita. Look at these florals. They are so, so pretty love you know and you can see she shaped the larger flowers in one way and then shaped the center ones in the other direction to give them a different a different center you have all your leaves right here she added some smaller flowers here gorgeous then this one right here a, a napkin ring isn't this beautiful this is from diane she has the beautiful pop of orange color with all the little leaves the smaller flowers she used the uh, one of the borders to decorate the actual ring this is beautiful that is such a gorgeous piece okay let me get this out of the way so i can bring another basket like i said i have so many samples and if i don't get to all the design team samples today. I'm really sorry. I do have a little demo that I wanna be able to fit in at the end of this. So I'm hoping that I can get through a lot of these samples and then, and then do that demo. Ah, uh, yes, Robin, absolutely. Uh, can you imagine those on the on your Thanksgiving table? Yeah, those will be beautiful. Here's another card. This one is from Rashni. And I mean, look at those flowers. Look at all that dimension. Gorgeous. And love what she did with the background. So she used just solid cardstock. She die cut all the little leaves and then colored everything. And look, it looks like an embossed background with all the leaves, die cut leaves glued to that cardstock and the way she colored it. And then of course you have the pumpkins right here. You have, um, she brought in some smaller flowers from one of my previous collections. Um, she has all the different little leaves and branches. 
another gorgeous sample by Rashni. This one is Robin's. Look at this coloring on these pumpkins and the florals. She stamped and die cut the florals from the stamp set and the pumpkin. Colored them. It looks like Copic colors, Copic markers, I think. Then she used the corners right here in this space. And she made it into a shape card because this has two pieces. You can add that shape to your card and then at the bottom as well. So you have that fun decorative edge on your card. But look at all that detail. Love it. This one is Susan's. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Here you have the corners right here. Then you have the center of the frame, the solid piece. And then you have your florals right here with all the little leaves, the pumpkins. I love how she... Uh, place the pumpkin so she gets two solids and then the uh, decorative uh, swirly filigree pumpkin right in the middle just beautiful and then of course you got a little bit of glitter I don't know if the camera can catch it but look at that, all that sparkle oh this one is from Susan as well this one it's all stamped and die cut colored she hand she fussy cut the bird from the paper and then she added a coat or she added a little bit of glitter all over the images for a little sparkle and then of course you have the have a lovely day uh sentiment stamped over here and then the green for the pattern from the pattern paper and we got this one it's a fun tag from anita so here she did all the pumpkins. She did the solid and then layered a, the decorative pieces on top and colored them in different shades. Looks like orange and green and um, different like yellow and they're beautiful. And then you have the flowers here cut out of the pattern paper. So you have some coloring and some texture and dimension in there and with a shaping and then you got the little bow right here and these i love what she did here she used the flower centers to create this little the little tips for the for the tip of the uh of the thread or the uh twine here i love that love that detail it's just so pretty okay we have this one is from marja uh this one you got the decorative frame and then she did it in one piece then she did the so solid piece right here out of pattern paper and then we have the florals with the centers and what she did is she took the piece that uh, i designed as a calyx and she used them as flower centers so you can use them as calyx or you can turn around and use them to enhance your flowers or create different flowers with them so I love how that looks beautiful. And these pages, planner pages, are from Anita. Look at the, how beautiful that works on planner pages. And then she created a little pocket here. We have a little tag. From the frame, she used it, created a tag, and then she cut it in half. So she's got Happy Fall here with a little branch on that side. And then on this side, she used the other half of that piece and created a pocket on this side. And then she created a couple of little tags with the stamped images and colored them. Look, I love the colors on these, on this one. It, they're different, but they're so, so pretty. Okay, so that's a couple of planner pages there. This one is from Petra. Okay, I love her imagination and creativity here. I really love how she used that border die, this one right here, and created a mushroom with it. Just She just cut this piece with the bottom edge with this right here, cut the it borders and created the uh, the base and then she added the pumpkins, different florals, different leaves to create that beautiful arrangement. I just love love how creative this is. 
then we have a cute little tag here from Anita. Here she used a tag, she cut the tag, and then she used the, one of these corners, this corner right here, she used it to enhance the shape of the tag, some flowers for the, for the little um, placement there for the, for if you want to put ribbon or twine, and then the stamped image and die cut. And it looks like she did a very light color on the stamp, so it looks like no line stamping. And then her coloring is absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. And then this one right here, so I need a little bit more room to place this one so I can open it. This is from Rajni. It is a box that she handmade. I mean, look at this, okay? Everything is decorated. The, the front of it, all the florals, we got the border right here. We got different flower sizes. We got the, the main flowers here. And then when you open it, it is a gorgeous frame box. What a beautiful keepsake. You got different flowers, the two main flowers here and this gorgeous colors. And then you have all the little leaves, the branches. You got smaller flowers from my previous collections, the beautiful corners to decorate. And then she used the corners here, these ones, to create the frame uh, around the picture. Isn't this gorgeous? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I'm going to put that aside. How are we doing on time? 37? Okay, so I am going to, okay, one more, one little, one more sample. This is a little gift bag or gift basket. And I, this one is from Rajni as well that she created. Again, here's our florals. Here is this die right here. So she used the top right here to create the edge the decorative edge or shape of the of this panel on both panels and then she used the decorative piece this one to do the gold decorative die cut of course we got the paper in the background uh and then beautiful colored flowers the different branches the different leaves and then smaller flowers again just beautiful and then we got a little tag here with the sentiment stamped gorgeous okay let me get some of this stuff out of the way so i can get I, yes, absolutely, Anya. That box is such an amazing uh, project. It just, anybody will love to receive that box as a gift, I'm, I'm sure. I know I would. Okay, so I got a little project. So I'm going to do is I'm going to make this. And then uh, if I have a little bit more time at the end, I will show you some more samples. I have two more baskets full of uh, samples from the design team and again if i don't get to them uh, i did show them uh, most of them on my previous uh, video i did so i am going to actually make a little um, gatefold card with this die right here um, i like the idea that i can take one side and do the decorative edge uh, so i'm going to do a gatefold um, this particular piece uh, i cut was an eight and three quarter inch long by five and three sixteenths wide or 22.3 centimeters by 13.2 centimeters wide um, so the easy way to to figure out a measurement like that for for something like this is I went ahead and cut the solid with these two pieces 
So you just want to go ahead and place them on your paper, right? Kind of kissing each where the edges kind of just kiss each other. Tape it on your paper. You cut the solid piece. And then I just took the measurement of this piece. I added just a little bit for uh, the cardstock. So I have a little bit of room when I cut this, this long piece. And I took the measurement of that times four. And that's how I got this. Once I do that, then I take my rectangle and then I place this or I can take this one and kind of see about where I want it and where I'm going to do my score line here. And then I go ahead and just place this on my cardstock, tape it and cut it. So I end up with this edge and I do the same thing on the other side. So I have my center or the inside of my card and then my gatefold right here. After I did that, I went ahead and cut two pieces of the decorative lace with this one right here. So I cut those two out of the same cardstock. I did cut two pieces, and I already glued this one, but two pieces of the green pattern paper. And then this little panel of pattern paper that is going to decorate the inside of my card right here. Yes, Carol, the design team was very busy. I mean, they did such an amazing job. I had have so many beautiful samples from them. So I am going to go ahead and just ink the edges of this paper. So you just get rid of what the white core line or the white core of that paper. I, I never... I'm a big fan of getting rid of that, of all my projects. Okay, I'm not sure what's the, um, what's happening. Somebody's talking about somebody not being able to feed himself, so I'm not sure what the conversation is. I just see a lot of smiley faces. Okay, so once I have that... I am going to go ahead and glue that panel on the center of my card. Like this. And I cut it a little bit smaller then the actual panel, I wanted that frame around the uh, my my pattern paper. So center that just right. Okay, so we have that. Then I have, and this one I already glued together because I don't think you want to watch me glue these such detailed things uh, throughout the whole. So I'm going to just put a little bit of glue here to get it nice and secure to the solid pan coordinating panel for this die. And I just do a little dot because it's so intricate and detailed. I do want to make sure that the edge is completely glued down. I don't want it to, you know, come off and get torn off or, or something like that. As, you know, you look at it or it gets handled. Um, okay. And then we're just going to center this one on the die cut, on the solid die cut. like that I was trying to keep track of your comments on my iPad but it looks like my iPad decided to freeze at one 
point and I can't see on any of the comments, but I, I can still see your comments on my on my computer. Okay, so now that I have these two panels, then we can glue them to the gate folds on the front of our card. I'm going to open it so I don't get glue on the uh, on the inside. Okay, and I'm just aligning it to the to the cut on the brown cardstock. And then you have that right there. And then the same thing to the other side. <laughs> it does go really fast, right? When I have a... Uh... I did. I do make sure that I have everything pre-cut and and most of it, uh, like my paper was already most of it was uh, uh, shaded on the edges and stuff like that. So it kind of goes a little faster. Okay. So now for my uh, decorations on the front, I have um, I did cut some leaves. So, and then a uh, little bit of extra. I already did color them. Uh, I did some flowers as well. This ones I already shaped and colored, but I do have one here that I need to color and shape. Uh, so let me get my inks. Uh, let me see where are my shaping tools. I didn't get them out ahead of time. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm going to put this over here. And let me see. Some coloring brushes here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add a layer here of the tea dye color or ink. And as you can see, I'm not being very uh, precise. It's just kind of give it a, a, a light layer of that color. I like the uh, kind of a um, very warm color of that brown. And then I'm using wild honey for the rest of the coloring. Now I'm going to start darker in the center and then just kind of pull the color over to the tips of the petals to fade it out like that. And then if you want to be more precise, you can use a smaller brush or a smaller dabber and pull that color more precisely on your petals. And then I'm kind of adding more color on the edges and leaving it lighter on the center of the petal. Okay. And then for the leaves, I did use two colors. I used Peel Paint and Rustic Wilderness. And then on this one, I did use the same two colors. And then I added a touch of the Wild Honey ink on the, on the tips of the leaves. Okay, so now for the shaping. This is basic flower shaping on this one. So I'm going to take my larger tip here and I'm just going to pull it in from the uh, tip of your petal and then towards the center. And if you work always in one direction, it works a lot faster. Uh, this is all die cut from the soft finish cardstock. And because it's not uh, this particular shape 
pin doesn't require a lot of uh, dimension. I'm not going to like spritz it with water or anything. I'm doing it on uh, dry cardstock. So I'm just doing that. Always pulling from the tip to the center. And that works a lot faster. Um, always moving your your uh, st uh, stylus in one direction. And then I'm just going to kind of fold them a little bit. Then for my leaves, I'm going to be on the back and I'm going to pull the tips from the tip to the center again on each little branch. And then I'm going to move it and then do a little bit right here at the base because that's where your glue is going to go. So I always like to do that so you have something like this. Okay, and then these ones, this little branch right here of leaves, I'm going to do those on the back and I'm just going to pull from the tip to the base of each leaf. And then I'm just going to touch a little bit at the base because that's where most of the glue is going to weigh, uh, go. And then this, the little flower center, I just went in a circular motion on the back to give it that little, the little pop. So that, let me add a little bit more shape into this one. These out of the way. Okay, how are we doing? Oh, Dorothy. Oh, I'm sorry you're late. Well, that's okay. We're going to have the replay in a little bit once we're done with the live and you can watch it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I want to start my, I want to make sure, number one, because it's a gatefold, everything has to be glued on one side. So I want everything to be glued on my left panel. So when I open it, you know, everything, the arrangement is on one side. So I got to figure out. So I'm going, I got to figure out, I was trying to read your messages, but they're going, they're going by fast. Um, so I gotta go ahead and layer my flower real quick, glue it together. Some glue in the center. So for this one, I did two of the largest size and one of the, oh, where's my die? I think the medium, the second next size down. And then for the little center, I am going to use, oh, I just lost the die. So I'll have to look for it later. Hopefully it's not last forever. So I'm going to put in a little piece of foam, a little pop dot or foam square in that center and then placing it on the center of the flower. So you end up with something like that. Okay, now that I have that, I am going to go ahead and try to get my arrangement. So I want this large that flower leaf to be at the base because when you open it then you have that uh, so this is going to be my my base then we have that we'll have this little branch and we'll have i think this little leaf over here yeah okay so one thing i'm going to do to make sure this is a little piece of like uh I think it came off one of the, uh, the little foam dot sheets. So I'm going to put this right here in between my panels so I don't get any glue on this panel or on the background. I'm just going to put that. You can put a piece of scrap papers, anything like that. 
to protect the back of your of your project. Make sure that you, none of these pieces glue on it. And you can still see kind of the outline here of my my panel in the back. Yeah, so that is glued there. And I want to make sure that this gets glued really well. That it doesn't come off. This is why I kind of always make sure I protect this so that that leaf doesn't end up getting glued to my background. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and glue this one now because it's going to go underneath my flower. Let me see how it looks. Okay, that looks good. And it's going to, and it's also glued on the, on the, uh, the large leaf. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue my flower as close to the center or the edge of this panel right here as possible. So it looks more centered to the uh, front of the card. And then we're just going to go ahead and place this leaf over here. Like that. Okay. Make sure I don't have any glue on that. And there you go. You've got little bit of basic flower shaping, little basic uh, shaping on your leaves. Uh, you have your little arrangement and then when it opens, you have the pretty paper inside. You can stamp the sentiment in here. You can do a handwritten note. There you go. Quick, easy, very pretty, beautiful card. How are we? Do how am I doing on time? 11.58. Oh my goodness. Barely made it. <laughs> Barely made it. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to have a chance to um, show you the rest of the samples, but I know the whole design team will be posting all their projects throughout the next few weeks. Um, so you'll get a chance to see them all on our um, group. Also, make sure you do like, comment, and share uh, for a chance to win the $50 gift certificate. Let me switch my screen over real quick. I am so glad everyone was able to join and have some fun with me today. I hope you enjoyed my uh, quick demonstration on the gatefold card and I hope you enjoyed my new collection. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, hope everyone out there in Florida is in that surrounding areas is staying safe and out of the way and hope everyone has a great rest of your day or evening or night. I know some of you are, uh, it's late for you. Uh, thank you again for joining me. Have a great rest of your week and until next time, bye.